I went on the road and then I came back and then I was unemployed again. This is a recurring theme that the Cobra show is unemployed. I'm unemployed now. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Here I am, unemployed. Um, so I came back and I was unemployed and I had a lot of time with my hands and I had this roommate, Leah, who uh, made me watch a lot of terrible TV. She used to be one of those people, do you guys like that Extreme Makeover Home Edition thing? Right? Bobby does. <laughs> Because these are like people who love to just sit around and weep, which has never appealed to me. Just like, hey, you want to come over later and cry? But I don't, uh, I've never wanted to do that. And Biggest Loser uh, blew the joke. That's yeah, one of those shows. So I was sitting around on the couch one night, watching TV, and Lisa says, you have to watch the Biggest Loser's on because we have to watch that. And I said, I don't want to. Uh, and she said, oh, come on, just sit down and watch it. Um, you can start the thing now, I think. Right? Oh, it's starting. Oh, it starts flying. I see. It's going great. Uh, and she said, you have to watch this with me. And I said, I don't want to. Because it's inspiring and I hate that. Uh, and I hate anyone who like wants to better themselves. Like, maybe I'll just go and get another Baconator at my house. Which, do you know the Baconator? I look into the window of my mind. I was going to sing this, but I like her so much. I can't. I would never. No, I won't. She's too good. She has to be in the space when she's I can't picture her singing it in the way. The bacon editor gives me that was three. It's a triple cheeseburger with bacon in between of all of them. That was my dinner most of the night. Large fly, cherry cook. So, we of course did watch the show. Little did I know, it would change my life. Do you still watch this show? Because it's bad now. It's bad now, you're wrong, and I'll tell you why. It's because it stopped being, the, the glory of the show was that it was one-on-one, -on -one, people against each other. Once they started making it about couples and father and son and we're all loving, that's bullshit. When it was a bunch of strangers trying to destroy each other, that's what made you root for them. You know what I mean? When they're trying to repair their mother-daughter relationship, I don't give a shit. So, um, I lost about 70 pounds uh, in like five months, and then I lost another 30 after that, which, thank you, Bo. Thank you also, Mom. Um, uh, so, uh, oh right, the, uh, so this, this was the before, this is what this is, right? Okay, so this is the before shot of me. Yeah, that's me as Marfi, and, and this is the after. So that was good. So I lost about 70 pounds, and they told me, oh fuck, okay, you guys ready? Okay. So, so uh, right before that story happened, I auditioned for and was cast in the very first concert version of Hair. So, I, we did this like nine day thing, right? And it was great and I was very fat and then it was over and I was unemployed and that happened. Fast forward, I've lost 70 pounds, they call me and say, Harris coming back, we're gonna do a full run at the Delacorte Theater in the park. Fantastic. Except I've lost these 70 pounds, I'm worried I'm gonna get fired. So the first time I see everybody is we have this photo shoot for Vogue magazine, right? Because I'm a supermodel. And so we go, I go to this photo shoot and I see our whole creative team and our whole cast for the first time and I go, is this okay, is this all right, what I've done here? And they go, yeah, yeah, it's fine, just don't lose any more. And I go, okay, and I'm about like, just 30 more pounds. And, it was like a costume, like our costume designer was very upset with me. But we, I, we did this photo shoot for Vogue, and I, because I am a supermodel, decided that I was going to be very crafty. And we did a, like a big full cast setup, and, and it was us, the whole cast, and a taxi cab, and this very fancy supermodel called Agnes Dane, who's British and very skinny. And we had a thing with all of us and her, and I thought, I'm gonna be right next to her because I don't wanna get cropped the fuck out. So I wanna be right in the middle of the group, right next to her, so that I will not be left on the cutting room floor, like Megan Ranking ultimately was. <laughs> no, it's nothing personal, I don't think it's, I don't think it's anything to do with Megan Ranking, she was just out on the cusp. I didn't want to be right in the meat of it, right? So it was the July 2008 issue of Vogue, Nicole Kidman was on the cover, and, if, and there was a big two-page shot of this thing, of this is the shot of the cast of hair. And Megan was like over here, like past Paris. 
totally cut out. And you're looking, you're like, where's Andrew? I can't find Andrew. Let's zoom in. On the crease! I was right on the crease. See, my ego got the better of me. So I wrote a solo show about it to help my ego chill out. Um, so that was good. So uh, we did the park. The park went really well. We went to Broadway. That was really good. We won a Tony. It spins. I'm very happy about it. It's hard to say, you know, like sometimes you have these enormous experiences in your life and you can't really talk about them because they're too big. You have to kind of look at small parts of it. And one of the small parts about it uh, that a lot of you guys know about is the Twitter thing, right? So I started a Twitter page, which I, I started tweeting as Hair Tribe because they asked me because they knew I'd say yes. So I was Hair Tribe and then I was like, yeah, this is fun, I'll start one for myself. So I started one for myself and it became a big thing and, I've, and I got lots of followers. And the first time we had a, a little vote, the first Cobra, we had a little vote for Cobra. Ray. Um, to, for, to pick a song, and it was Party in the USA, and Jay, Jay Johnson sang it with me, and that was really fun, and, and it has the most hits on YouTube, which means that it was the best part of the show. <laughs> and so, uh, I didn't want to do that again. And so, we did another vote, and the winner was clear. Second place was How Loves Me to Be a Woman, which would have been funny, from Baba Birdie, right? Baba Birdie? Yeah. yeah. This is the winner. I'm going to welcome up my special guests, uh, Tomar Wilson, Brandon Pearson, and Ryan Watkinson, <laughs> for joining me on this. Um, it's now, uh, go see Tomar in, in transit, and, and Ryan promises, promises, and, and Brandon. Brandon comes over to my house sometimes. <laughs> so, Brandon, help me move my bookcases. Uh, so, uh, this is the winner of the Cobra Ray 1.3 Twitter contest. Yeah. 